All right, there's some breaking news coming in. Jaya Legacy battle in Madras High Court. Despite High Court's recommending EPS and OPS to work together, EPS faction says they can't join hands with OPS. All right, going straight across to my colleague uh, Dharni, who is joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, Dharni, uh, t tell us more details. Well, uh, to understand uh, today's arguments better, we have to, uh, you know, first, uh, you know, uh, tell the audience what happened during, uh, you know, last week's hearing. So, Justice G. Jayachandran of the Madras High Court last week ordered uh, the nullification of July 11th General Council meeting of the AADMK. So, this automatically meant that Adapati Palaniswami will no longer be able to serve as the party's interim general secretary and he will go back to his original position of, you know, party's deputy coordinator. And, you know, OPS will be the coordinator of the party. So, everything went back to square one and uh, you know uh, the the, uh, the efforts that were uh, put by the party Palaniswami camp for two months to make him the single leader of the party it all went uh, you know it, it all fell back uh, so you know the EPS camp they challenged that particular verdict in the Madras High Court again and uh, the, the hearing of that particular case is happening today uh, so since today morning the party Palaniswami camp they have been putting various arguments in front of uh, uh, Justice Sundar Mogan and Durai Swami of the Madras High Court so so far uh, only the party Palaniswami camp's arguments are over uh, so post lunch the OPS camp will put, put forward their arguments. Uh, so as far as, far as EPS, uh, you know, EPS camp's arguments are concerned, they are telling that uh, because of Justice Jayashandran's you know, previous order, ADMK is not able to function properly as an opposition party. And in fact, uh, uh, they are telling that uh, Justice Jayashandran uh, pronounced the order, uh, order uh, only based on assumptions and not based on facts. Uh, so they have also went on to tell that uh, you know, Justice Jayashandran's order, you know, uh, it says that uh, both OPS and EPS should work together for the uh, you know, betterment of the party. But uh, that party Palaniswami camp has today in the court once again uh, made it very clear that they are not ready to join hands with OPS. So they want, uh, you know, uh, OEPS to be the single leader of the party and that they are not ready to back off. And they are also telling that as far as, you know, ADMK as a political party is concerned, uh, the General Council is the highest, uh, you know, uh, decision making uh, uh, body, it's the highest uh, 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 body with some, you know, uh, authority. Uh, so uh, since most of the General Council members are wanting Adapati Palaniswami uh, to be the single leader, uh, that should be implemented. But however, uh, I know the Madras High Court's previous order by Justice Jayachandran is not uh, in favour of this particular, uh, you know, uh, decision and wish. It's, it's in fact, uh, it has gone in favour of O. Panir Silvam. So uh, they are telling that that order is, you know, basically not based on uh, facts but based on assumptions and that uh, it, it mostly favours O. Panir Silvam as an individual and not ADMK as a party. Uh, so these are some of the highlights uh, from the Adapati Palaniswami camp's arguments. Uh, so in some time after the lunch, uh, you know, time is over, uh, the OPS camp will start its argument and we'll have to see how they're going to counter all these, uh, uh, you know, points from the EPS camp. Right, Dharani, many thanks for taking us through all those details.